A look there at one of the newest and best ballparks in all the land, PNC Park in Pittsburgh, as MLB The Show gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, it's game one of a quick two-game series, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call balls and strikes. Alongside me are colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Dave, we turn to you first. What should we keep an eye on in this matchup? Well, one guy you always have to game plan around is Jason Bay. I mean, he's a former rookie of the year that seems like he's settled into becoming one of those cornerstone power guys that you can build your whole lineup around. I expect him to have a big say in this one. All right, Dave and Huddle join us shortly, but let's get to our New Era Cap starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins align like this. Cameron Maben is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Jose Castillo will bat second. He's at third. After that, the speedy young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. Following him in the cleanup hole, Dan Ugla over at second base. Cody Ross will bat fifth and play left field. Jeremy Hermida bats sixth and plays right. Josh Willingham is at first base and in the number seven hole. Cortez will be behind the plate and hit eight. Sergio Mitre will be on the mound for the Marlins and bat number nine. They'll square off against the young left-hander Zach Duke. Duke was a rookie of the year contender back in 2005 and had a fine sophomore campaign in 06, but injuries robbed him of some of his effectiveness last year as he struggled to a three and eight campaign. We'll see if he can right the ship in 2008. And a look now at how the Pirates line up on D behind him. Into the box is the leadoff hitter Cameron Maybin, and we are ready for baseball. Pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. And there's ball one. Boy, I think that umpire just flat missed this one. This should be strike two. Hard hit to third. Throw on to first in time, one away. Jose Castillo will step in now. Here's the first offering. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. Showing real good patience there at the plate. Now the 3-0 offering. Grounded foul. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. Now a ball hit high and deep heading toward the corner and left. And no one will get this one. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. Here's a ground ball to first. And LaRoche will just take this to the bag himself for the out. Hanley Ramirez will stand in for the first time here. Yeah. 
in on the hands a bit with the fastball. It's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. First inning as we're just underway from Pittsburgh. Ball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Bay will get under it though and he puts it away to retire the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. Starting lineup for the Pirates will read as such. Niger Morgan is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Chris Gomez will bat second. He's at third. After that, first baseman Adam LaRoche. Next comes all-star Jason Bay out in left field. Xavier Nady is the right fielder hitting fifth. Freddy Sanchez will bat sixth and play second. Jack Wilson the shortstop batting number seven. Then comes Ryan Domit. He'll be behind the plate. And on the mound in batting ninth is Zach Duke. Sergio Mitre gets the ball to face them, and I think the one key will be how aggressive he is on the mound. He's got to get the ball and go right after hitters because he can get into trouble when he nitpicks and falls behind. And in the field, Louisville Slugger shows us that the Marlins will align themselves like this. Niger Morgan will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. outside corner for strike one. Just a perfect spot for that fastball. In there at the Ooh. knees, 0-2 now. Got him where he wants him, 0-2. Now don't give him anything good. A little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. And he looks at a ball one and two. Now let's see if he drops that change up on him again for out number one. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Ahead in the count, you got to be able to take a little off. So he comes in with the change up there, and it's good night, Charlie. Chris Gomez steps in now. First offering on the way. Now a ground ball towards the hole. In time to first, and there are two away. Adam Marone digs in at the plate. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. Two out, nobody on. Now here it comes. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. And a foul ball straight back. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. Swing, and I believe this one is gonna find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two.
just does stay alive as this is fouled oh. back. And they can't get LaRoche to chase there as that evens things at two and two. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. Three and two now. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. He'll try it again, three and two. And the 11th pitch is the charm as he strikes him out to end the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Second inning coming up from PNC Park with no score. Dan Ugla leads things off now in the top half of the second. First pitch coming. And here's a fastball from Duke to get things started. It's nothing and one. Looked like he lost the handle on a breaking pitch. One and one. Trying to drop one on the corner, but it misses the target. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Cody Ross will get his first cuts here. Ball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Not a bad spot to miss. You'd love to get him to reach for something. Called hey, strike at the knees, one and one. Outside, two and one. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it. So be careful. Now a ball hit hard, but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. Two-two pitch on the way. Ah, gets him out in front of the curveball there as this is popped high in the air back near second. Sanchez is under it, and he's got it for the first out. So a runner on first with one out now, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Jeremy Ermita. Curveball just misses, apparently, 1-0. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. Finds his spot there, one and one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. And if they try and come back in with another fastball, I wouldn't be surprised if he's waiting on that baby. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. Right by him, and there are two down. Quite a challenge pitch here on two and two. He decides to take him up in the zone, and I bet he was looking for something down at the knees because he swung right underneath the thing. 
Josh Willingham will dig in here. He's ready. Now the pitch. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. No score here as we play inning number two. Line hard deep into left. On the run, and he has it to retire the side. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Jason Bay will step in working on a nice five-game hitting streak. First pitch is a sinker too low, 1-0. And that's a tough pitch to lay off bearing down like that. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Xavier Nady will step in working on a nice five game hitting streak. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat 1-0. And this is where you need that sinker to do its thing. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Sight of a smart hitter right there. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. To Ugla for one. On to first, and they get to double play. So two away now for Freddy Sanchez. First pitch on the way. Swing and a miss as he's underneath that one for the first strike. And he's taking some chances with that fastball up in the zone. He won't get away with that all night. Down in the way, ball one. They set up away that time, but he couldn't quite hit a spot with a bender. In the air now. Straight away right field. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it down. And with that, the side is retired. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. We'll move to the third with no score. Cortez is ready to go here as we begin the third. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Come on! Grounded to third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Sergio Mitre will be the batter. Now the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. In there, and it's even at one. 
Boy, and that is just the definition of hitting your spots. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Got to look to try and slap that thing the other way. Slice down the line at first. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the center fielder, Cameron Mabin. And a strike at the knees, more like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. He's set, now the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. And he misses two and one. Yeah, looking to run that thing back to the low inside corner, but that's not one guys will chase very often. Hit hard, but foul. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And that misses, so it's a full count, 3-2. and two. And that misses, ball four. So it's first and second now, with only one away. Jose Castillo will stand in. He grounded out his first time. He waits. Now the pitch. And a ball 1-0. And this is certainly a key at bat here in the early going. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. Hanley Ramirez will take his cuts now with a big opportunity to give his club the lead here. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. And now with the bases loaded, you cannot afford to fall behind here and be forced to groove one. Foul back. Hello. Third inning, no score to this point. Grounded to third, this could be two. Here's Sanchez for one. On to LaRoche, just a step too late as they can't get them both. So it's first and third with two away, and that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. Too low, 1-0. and The next pitch. Ball two now. And this is the wrong guy to lose your command to. They need to go right after him. Hard hit towards center. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Cody Ross will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the runner will score from second. So runners at the corners with two gone. And that'll bring forth the youngster, Jeremy Hermida.
ball one. And now you really need to go to damage control on the mound. Don't make this inning worse than it already is. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground. Throw on to LaRoche is going to be in time, and the inning is over. So they pick up three runs on four base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Marlins lead this one three to nothing. Jack Wilson makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And that misses low and away, bowl one. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Ryan Domit will stand in looking to extend his modest six-game hitting streak. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Now the one, one. Here's one hit towards the hole. Ramirez back to first, and great work by the pitcher hustling over to cover as he takes the throw for the 3-6-1 double play. Zach Duke will stand in. First pitch to him. And that misses ball one. That's just off the corner and low, ball two. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. And he's thinking, yeah, you'll call that a strike when I'm at the plate, but not when I'm on the mound. Now the two-one pitch. And boy, he's just saying, where do I have to put it? Three and one now. Look pretty good to me, but he's in danger of losing him now. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. The relay, the tag, and he is out at second. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the top of inning number four. Florida's out in front, three to nothing. Josh Willingham will stand in, a line-out victim his first time. Here it comes. And this is taken outside for ball one. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. And this is where you hope for an umpire with a wide strike zone, but he did not get the call. And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2-0 and oh as they bunch him up inside. It's 2-1 and one now. Trying to get a little frisky there on a 2-0 and oh count. It should be 3-0. and oh. 
Ready with the 2-1. And that swung on and fouled straight back. And that misses there, so he runs to count full now. And that's a good location coming back at his body there. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Cortez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. And he turns on one here and hits it a mile to left, but this is going to wind up a long foul ball. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. And that's a good time to throw that spinner. Make him fish for something. Taken high for a ball, it's full now, three and two. That last pitch, number 64 of the ball game for Duke. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Ball, but a good job to lay off and he works out the free pass. Sergio Mitre will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Nope. Showing bunt here but he takes ball one. Here's the 1-0. Trying to move the runner into scoring position here, but this is a foul ball. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. But too late, and he's safe at third. Cameron Mabin will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. Two and zero. Oh. Oh, I don't know about that one. Looked to me like we should be one and one right now. And a fastball taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Nady is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Marlins on top, three to nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now. And stepping in is the speedy center fielder, Niger Morgan. Swing and a hard liner to 
center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Chris Gomez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Throw into third. And he is safe on a close play. Adam LaRoche will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Looked like he lost his release point on that fastball. It's 1-0. and And with the infield at double play depth, it looks like they'll trade a run for two outs. Grounded foul. And this is fouled straight back. Good sinker there. Gets him swinging for the first out. Jason Bay will dig in. He singled his first time around. Here's the first offering. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. And sooner or later, you've got to make these early opportunities pay off. Hits are now even at four apiece. And a fastball that misses badly there. It's one and one. And if you're going to miss with a fastball, that's the spot to do it. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Yeah, trying to take back control of that inside part of the plate. That's where you want to be. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Hello. Something off here is this is a lazy fly ball out to center field. Mabin is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. Xavier Nady will be the batter. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. Now the 1-0 pitch. And that's right there, and we're even at one. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Mm, might have been out of the zone there, but that's a little too close to take. And here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. A runner on first with two away. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. The runner at first has got to make sure he's going to the plate before he breaks. He's ready now, the pitch. Now a ball rolled slowly down the third baseline. 
And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We've played four full. The Marlins lead it three to one. Jose Castillo will dig in one for two thus far. Now here's the first pitch. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Keeping it low, he won't get burned down there. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And Buka win the race to the bag to record the out. Hanley Ramirez will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Having success with the fastball here, it's 0-2 now. Can't lay off now, down 0-2. Got to open up that zone a little bit and protect. 3-1 to one our score as we play inning number five. Line hard into left. In his bay, but this is a base knock as it falls in front of him. And I'll tell you what, when you've got a base stealer like this on at first, you don't want to play too close to the vest here. Let her hang. Use that speed as a weapon. Dan Ugla will step in. An RBI single this last time around. Now a look over to first here by Duke. Almost caught him leaning that time. Now here's the first pitch. Ball one. There goes Hanley for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it's not going to be in time as Ramirez has himself a stolen base. Runner at second here with one man out. A swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And a good count to throw that thing, too. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Here he comes again, one, two. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Near the stands, and he brings this one back in. He took that right out of the first row. Wow! Cody Ross will be the batter, one for two thus far. This is swung on and bounced on the ground to third. Throw on to LaRoche takes care of him, and with that, the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Home half of the fifth coming up. Florida's out in front, three to one. Freddy Sanchez will try it again. He flew out his first time.
Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. That misses one and two. Oh, almost got him to commit, but he wisely laid back. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. Swing shot back up the middle, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Jack Wilson will try it again a bit sore this time. He was hit by a pitch in his first at-bat. And here's the first pitch. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. And Ramirez can't hang on. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. So a runner on second with one down now. And here's the young catcher, Ryan Domit. First pitch is bounced on the ground to Ramirez at short. Throw on to first, two gone. Zach Duke will try it again. He was thrown out trying for a double his first time. And that's in there for strike one. And boy, a two out hit here at the plate would really go a long way towards helping his own cause. Hits are even right now at five aside. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. And when you got to pitch your 0 and 2, I think I'd try to make him chase something here. And he misses there 1 and 2. Oh, and how disciplined do you have to be to lay off that pitch on 0 and 2? Comes set, now the pitch. Now a ball lined back over second. That's in there, base hit. And the run will score from second as they cut it to one at three to two now. Niger Morgan will step in, one for two in the ball game. Couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. Yeah, and it looks like he's aiming it right now, like a dart thrower. The 2-0. And he misses again with it here. It's 3-0 now. Still no walks for him here tonight, but on 3-0, he's looking one right in the face here. In there, 3-1. And, and he'll just keep pounding that sinker down in the zone. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Chris Gomez will step in, one for two in the ball game. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. 
1-0 pitch now. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up, and it's 1-1. One and one. Ah, the location mistake there, but he couldn't capitalize. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. So it's one run on two base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Five innings complete. The Marlins on top, three to two. And before the Marlins take their turn here in the sixth inning, let's take a moment to check their in-game box score through five innings. It's presented by Upper Deck. Jeremy Hermida will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Josh Willingham will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Swing and a bullet to the right side. In there, the base hit. Well, this is a good sign right here. After an offer to start the ball game, he stays behind the baseball where he doesn't try to overpower it and sends it the other way for a knock. Cortez will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Now the first pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Both teams with six hits so far. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. And he's looking for his first hit of the game to try to push his hitting streak up to five games. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. The throw to third. Uh, too late, and he's safe at third. But he'll be in there with a double. Romulo Sanchez is going to have his work cut out for him here. Sergio Mitre steps in now. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And you can bet that his manager will be studying him on the mound to see how he handles himself here. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. The next pitch. And he takes a cold strike one. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. Boy, and hitters really hate seeing that thing run up and in like that. And this is swung on and bounced to shortstop. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. Well, once that runner saw that neither the pitcher nor the third baseman were going to get it, he just made a beeline for the plate, and he scores on the ground out to short. That's heads up. Cameron Maben will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And 
and he lays off there 1-0. One zero on the way, and he watches one miss outside. Two and zero now. And just eyeballing it from up here, he doesn't have the look of a guy that's totally warm yet. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. The Marlins lead it four to two. And before we get to the bottom half, time once again to check out our in-game box score, this time for the home team, the Bucks. Adam LaRoche will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. And now when you plant that seed on the first pitch, you can really go anywhere from here. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And there's the first out. Jason Bay will stand in. He drove in a run with a sack fly his last time. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Here's the 1-0. In for a strike, it's 1-1. One and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. And that's a pretty big swing there. It looked like he was trying to get that run back on one pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. And now a pitch on the way. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball two. Yeah, almost strike three, but I don't think he broke the wrist, so that's a good call. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Ball three. Three and two now. Yeah, trying to run that thing in on the hands. Good eye. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Xavier Nady will step in. A ground out victim as last time. taken for strike one and he's still looking for a base hit here to keep that modest five game hitting streak alive now the pitch one and one and you can tell he wanted to go after that one but he wisely hangs back now a ball hit hard towards the hole a flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning coming up. The Marlins lead this one 4-2.
Jose Castillo will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. First offering on the way. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Foul! And that's swung on and missed by Castillo as the count moves to 0-2. That is such a valuable weapon when you can spot the fastball down there. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Oh. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. And it's obvious they want to make him go down and get something because the last three have been down around the knees. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. Well, eight hits for him now on the scoreboard as opposed to six for the other guys as they just look to pad their lead a bit here. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And at the plate is the young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And this will be a base hit into center. So the first two are aboard here to kick off the seventh. Dan Ugla will step in. One for two in the ball game. Throw over to the bag. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Now a hard liner. But that'll land foul strike one. And he'll throw over to first. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. And he's working hard from the neck up right now. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Take him out of his zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Cody Ross will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now the first pitch. In there, and it's 0-1. Working the inside corner with the fastball. Let's see if they stay right there. And he misses with it, 1-1. One and one. If you're going to try to get that guy to fish for a curveball down there, you better make sure you can keep it in front of you. Runners are at the corners with one man out. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And there goes Hanley for second. Pitch inside the throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Yeah, and that's a good spot to try to get somebody to pop the ball up. Jeremy Hermida is on deck. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Jeremy Hermida will stand in with a big opportunity to pad this lead if he can avoid the double play ball. First pitch to him. 
Lays off 1-0. Still looking for his first hit of the ball game, which would push that batting streak to 12. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. He's really digging his own grave now. He's got to come in here, but he just can't lay it in there. Bases are loaded with only one out. 2-0 is a fastball, not close. He's behind 3-0 now. Matt, he's all over the place. Now just a pitch away from forcing home a run. Hit hard to the right. But this will get into foul territory. Three balls and a strike. And he's right on the fastball there as this is hit pretty well out towards deep left. Bay is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Jonah Bayless will come in and pitch now. Josh Willingham will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. Foul ball straight back. He set now the pitch. And this will be swung on and missed as Willingham falls behind now, nothing in two. And as a manager, this is how you want your guy to come out of the bullpen. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. The throw home. And safe at the plate as he just gets in ahead of the tag. But uh, too late, and he's safe at third. Well, they summon the righty out of the bullpen to get a favorable matchup, but this time it backfires on him. Cortez will step in. One for two in the ballgame. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Oh. And that's up in the zone a bit, but a called strike, 0-2. Oh and, and this is a big opportunity here for a young player to prove himself to his new ball club. Now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Sergio Mitre will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And these guys have really scratched out their seven runs. None have come via the long ball. And this ball will be chopped foul. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on four hits here, no errors, and two men left on base. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Marlins on top, seven to two. Freddy Sanchez will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Here's the first offering. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Just got to find some way to get on base here. Toward right center. Base hit.
Jack Wilson to dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. center field and he's going to get there to make a fine running catch and there's your first out of the inning Ryan Domit will stand in 0 for 2 thus far and this one runs up high ball one well, he's hitless so far as he looks to push his hitting streak to seven games. And that's off the plate and high, 2-0 oh now. And here in the seventh inning now, the location starts to suffer a bit. Now the 2-0. Oh. Swing and the ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. On the ground is short. This could be two. They're handed for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Eighth inning coming up. The Marlins lead it 7-2. to two. Cameron Maben will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Too high, 1-0. And this is one of the few guys in the lineup that has not joined the hit parade so far. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. And these guys have been very patient with that slider away. They have not chased very often. And that's over, two and one. Ooh, and that one pretty much just burns off the outside edge. Three and one now. And they obviously want to work him away as that's three straight on the outside part of the plate. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. Oh. Hit hard to the right side. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Swing and a soft liner down the line in right. But this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again. Three and two. And he looks at one that misses for ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to get the inning underway. Well, as a relief pitcher, walking the leadoff guy is definitely not part of your job description. He needs to really bear down now. Jose Castillo to try again. Two for four in the ballgame. Low for ball one. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and oh. Two-oh on the way. 
Hit hard, but foul. And this will be grounded foul down the line at first. Swing, hot shot to the left side. Hanley Ramirez will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Here's Sanchez for one. On to LaRoche and they get them both. Dan Ugla will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch on the way. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. and oh. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike, 2-1. and one. Toughest location for a hitter right there. I'd take that, too. Two outs here with a runner at third. The 2-1. Now a broken bat as this ball is hit on the ground. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. Cody Ross would dig in. He walked and later scored last time. And he takes ball one. And I think he just got a gift call right there to begin the at-bat. That should have been a strike. inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0 and oh. and here's a case where you can just sit on fastball if you don't get one just take it here comes the 2-0 oh. and a fastball is hit on the ground towards short throw on to LaRoche is going to be in time and the inning is over so a run on two hits no errors and a man left not too many more shots left home half of the eighth coming up Florida's out in front, 8-2. to two. Stephen Pierce will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the inning. and drives it the other way to deep right. Hermida is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Niger Morgan will step in, one for two in the ballgame. takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. And, and I think the umps want to get out of here, too. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Hermida is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Chris Gomez will get another crack, one for three thus far. in there for a strike. And it's been surprising to me how little of a fight these guys have put up in the late going. It's 
Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. 1-1 one, one on the way. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And this is what you want against a guy that's tiring. Really grind out the at bat. And this is swung on and bounced out to Ugla at second. Throw in time and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We've played eight full. The Marlins lead this one 8-2. to two. New pitcher set to come in now, and it'll be the right-hander, Frank Elise Cesario. Jeremy Hermida to get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Still no home runs in the ball game on either side of the scorecard. Here's the pitch. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Uh, what are you waiting for, amigo? Opposite field to left. And he makes the catch on the move as he's able to hang with this one for the first down. And that hit streak we talked about could be in some jeopardy here as he remains hitless for the game. Josh Willingham will dig in again. He singled home a run his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. Man, he's setting it on a tee for you. You got some lumber. Use it. One out. Nobody on. And he misses here. No. Called a strike on the inside corner. Wow, it's nothing in two now. Boy, this umpire is expanding the strike zone in every conceivable direction. Ball swung on and hit on the ground back up the box. And the throw to LaRoche is in time, two gone. Cortez will get another shot now, two for three in the game. In there, strike one. And this guy's double earlier in the ball game has been their only extra base hit so far. Two out, nobody on. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. This will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Ready with another 0-2. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Strike three, so we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. The Marlins on top, eight to two.
Justin Miller will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Adam LaRoe will stand in. He popped out in his last time. center and a leap it's short but it's over his glove and it could be extra bases and now it'll rattle up against the wall and just what they needed here to start the bottom of the ninth is he's in with a two base hit Jason Bay will dig in he's one for two in the ball game And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh, and, uh, and he reached back for a little something extra there. <laughs> now a check swing, but he holds up in time, ball one. Hmm, I don't know. It looked to me like he might have gone around. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ooh, awfully close to strike three. Probably should have been strike three. Instead, it's two and two now. Boy, nothing comes easy, does it? And this is low, but it's roped in quickly, and that runner will hold at second base. Swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory. Cortez is out of the crouch, and he stays with it for route number one. Xavier Nadia will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Now here's the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. And a good pitch as he gets this one past X to make it 0-2. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Might have had him geared up for the fastball there because it didn't look like he was expecting the break at the end. And you can see on pitch track, that thing moved a good nine inches. Bucks down to their final out now. And that'll bring in the former batting champion, second baseman, Freddy Sanchez. pitch taken by Sanchez as he's got it to 2-0 now. Swung on. Missed. 2-1. and one. From the stretch. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. And 
and he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Well, it didn't look to me like they wanted to give him anything to hit here. Jack Wilson will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. In there, 0 and 1. These guys are just one for seven with men in scoring position, so the clutch hits have not been there. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Pause, now the pitch. Line to the right side. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats, and the count will remain at 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. And this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, this ball club showed me a lot tonight. They really put their nose to the grindstone and came away with a hard-fought victory on the road. So the Marlins claim victory here in Soup. Let's check out our New Era Cap heads-up play of the game from this one. Matt, this was a big one right here. Tight game at the time, and they were able to get two on this play to snuff out the rally. And that went a long ways towards getting them the victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Well, Matt, he turned it over to the bullpen in the ninth, but still eight strong innings for him, and he was hitting his spots throughout. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score... The Marlins win it 8-2. This has been a presentation of MLB 08 The Show. For more, log on to MLB08.com. Good night, everybody.